Alrighty. I know this is like the worst camera angle ever, but uh, I'm like a monkey right now. See, I'm grabbing my uh, three inch flusher, my tube, okay. Ah. And I'm getting up on this scaffold with the plank and the bench. Okay, now I'm gonna do just this section here that you can see. I'm gonna do the no coat and then coat these two off angles, okay? So I'm just gonna leave these here. Hopefully they don't fall, okay? Load up some mud. Okay, and again, even for the off angles, the first thing I do is I just load it with mud and then I start to wipe it out. And this is a five inch steel knife. With no coat, I always use a steel knife. It just holds its shape better. Uh, stainless steel will bend too much and you're not going to get that no coat nice and flat. Okay, I learned that the hard way. No coat, steel knife. Always. I don't know why. Well, I think I just told you why, but it just does a better job. Okay, and that's that's as far as I'm gonna go. I got another four feet, five feet to go there, but. Okay, so I'm just loading it. I'm just putting it as flat as possible, leaving as much mud on there as possible without making a mess. Okay, and I'll go from the other side. If you see garbage, pick it off before you lose it. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go one more time, flat as possible. Okay. Alright, now get the edge. When you wipe the edge on your wet butt joint, just lay it flat. Don't dig in on one side, or else you're just going to damage your butt joint. All right. Okay. Now. Now that I did both sides a few times, the next step is to clean that inside corner. Now all I do is I run, I run my knife, just I, I run it on a 45, okay? This, this corner here just cleans the inside corner and then I wipe it a couple more times. That's why when you wipe it, you want to try to leave as much mud on there as possible because I'm going to be gouging out that inside corner just to clean it up, then wiping it a couple more times. Okay, so there you go. I did the first couple of feet. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. There you go. Okay, so I just, I just shove the corner in there and just take all the goobers out. Now, I'm going to wipe again. Beautiful. See, now there's nothing. 
That inside corner looks beautiful. Now it doesn't, but once I do it a couple times, it will. Okay, looks good. Not bad. Gorgeous. Awesome. Wipe my edges. Good. All right. This first five or six feet is done. Now I just got another five or six feet to do here. All in reaching distance. But I want to show you, although it's going to damage, it's going to damage my no coat, but that's not a big deal. I will clean that up. So now, all I do is I grab my little shorty tube. It's only a 32 inch compound tube. It's like a syringe. If you're starting out drywalling, this was my first tool that I bought with the applicator, a flusher. I didn't even buy the handle. I bought a wooden handle from Home Depot. It's even cheaper. This tube was $175 Canadian, $230 with the, the kit and the, you know, now you can buy these plastic ones if you just want to buy, finish a small bathroom. Awesome. So I just shoved the whole thing right in the mud. Oh, I might have to uh, put all the mud at the bottom of the pail. be a little bit more bouncy but uh, at least you'll be able to see my corners a little bit better all right so now okay I got the applicator okay it doesn't matter if it's full of mud you just got to be mindful that this might drip so try to keep it clean now I'm just gonna load up the corners like before Okay, it's always easier to start from the top, work your way down. You don't need a lot, you don't want to make a mess. Okay, and if you suck it up and there's an air bubble, when you push it out of the, on the wall, it will blow up like an air bubble and make a mess all over your wall. So if you suck up an air bubble, Blow it out in the bucket right away. Okay, so I'm just sucking it up just a little bit. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, great. The head fell off. Yeah, well, that's, that's what happens when uh, the spring is a little bit too loose. Or I think it's the, the tip of this. This is an old tube. It's a plastic ball at the end, not metal like my new one. So now let's do the other one. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side here. Putting a nice even coat without making a mess all over because my, my flusher is only three inches wide. I don't want to put a bunch of mud all over the corner and my flusher can't clean it, right? So now I grab the flusher, okay? Now, this is not like an angle head, right? You don't need to put mud on this before you put it in the corner. There's already enough mud in the corner. All right, 
the angle head, it, 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 it stores more mud. You need to pre-mud it before you put it in the corn, okay? So again, I'll start with the, the left side because it's dry. You want to start where you started. And look at that, see? And notice how I started from the bottom up this time, because I don't want to just shoot all that extra mud right on the wall. If I go upwards, there's more chances that it, it'll spread out in the corner better. And now I can go back. And I'll do that a couple times. And there you go. That's good enough for a cathedral. And now the other side. Not bad. This is very awkward. One more time. Good enough. And there you go. And that's all there is to it. And then uh, I repeat on the other side. And uh, see, I'll show you now. Now all I do is I use my uh, putty knife and I clean the corners up. I could show you this corner real quick. See, it's, I just clean up the garbage because once I'm done, see, and I'm gonna wipe that edge because that edge was really hard. I, hard, I mean like, it's a big edge, right? So I need to wipe it. And that's the thing. That's the difference between the flusher and the angle head. The difference is, is the flusher, okay, unless you put a really, really, really thin coat in your corner, you could get away with not having to wipe that edge. But if you're trying, like I wipe those corners by hand and now I'm filling it with a flusher, the, it's too square. There's a lot of mud there, so I, I need to wipe those edges. But it's not bad because it's a cathedral. It doesn't matter. But if I was doing that from the floor, eight feet, nine feet high, I would never do that. It would be so much sanding. And I've done it before, I know. Trust me. So you guys have a good day. And uh, Happy New Year. This house is almost done. Next video, sanding. Yay!